Tonight, there was somewhere that I could have gone, an event that was posted by my Facebook friend John, to a club where a cool ragtime band would be on. Enticing, no doubt, but I didn't go out. Known about it all week, sounded like a good show. Marked it in my calendar and said, I'm gonna go. In anticipation, my smile, it did glow, but turned into a pout. No, I didn't go out. I didn't see people. I didn't see friends. I was gonna go, but backed out in the end. A quite boring night by myself I did spend. I just hung about. No, I didn't go out. So why, you may ask, skip a night full of glee? The answer, it sure beats the hell out of me. At the time I had reasons, and I'm trying to see the dumb reasons I spout, choosing not to go out. The reason I told myself was I shouldn't have fun, for at home there are many, many things to be done. My plan was to work hard, like I was under the gun. How many things did I actually accomplish? None. But the real, real reason, so far as can tell, is one that I don't understand very well. Call it a condition or a social death knell. It's people. They just make me freaked out as hell. When I'm home on my laptop, I feel no need to flee, for online I'm composed and I'm funny and groovy. But in person, I'm concerned that people will see that my online persona is much cooler than me. When I talk to people, I feel like I'm on stage, a vaudeville performer from some bygone age. Be witty, funny, entertaining, and sage, and I wish with no doubt that I hadn't gone out. But also, I wonder about this thing people do, when they ask, hey man, what you been up to? When you're talking, are they waiting for you to be through so they can say they're busier and more interesting than you? But it's all in my mind. These reasons are squat. My friends are not judgmental people. They're not. Staying home is boring. I must thicken my plot. I'll only live once. I can't blow my shot. Next time I'll go out. Yes, out I will go. There are cool things to see and new things to know. My fear need not be such a formidable foe. So will I go out? Maybe, maybe no. How do you do? This is Lev. I put up a new episode of Tales of Mere Existence every two weeks, so please subscribe to this channel. These two here are a couple of recent episodes that I'm rather happy with. Click and have a look. Tales is funded in part by viewers like you. You can make a pledge at my Patreon page here. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.